Uh, it's AZ3 in the building. Yeah. Calling you daughters of Sarah. We see you. Uh, today is your day. Uh, that's right, author of beauty. Uh, come on. Come on. For the first author of our beauty have created them, labeled them. Beauty is much more when you relate with them. Way with them. Hate it cause they ain't it, can't compare to them. Away with them. My sisters like they're precious. Ain't no one mistaking them. You can't get her twisted. No nope. sick religion's fake to them. Gird in any scripture, sister, sharper than the blade of pen. You can surely miss her with them critics and their label in the apple of a father's eye. Ain't no one replacing him. Kinky, curly, twisty, yep. Realer than what real can get. You cannot define her with designer or a makeup kit. Driven is a Given she divine, I say she heaven That's sent right. to make a left his mark on that. Who you gon' replace her with? Modest, not a novice, yeah, she flyer than the pelican. You can catch her with her kids, got a house, is how she lives. Ain't another better search to earth, and you ain't finding them for Israel is the Lord's portion. She the one I'm riding with, riding with. Let your light shine. You left all that ratchet stuff behind. Now the only thing that you screaming is Proverbs 31. Be the reason, the reason for that virtue, that virtue that you be bringing. Woo. Uh, and your price is far above rupees. Ain't got time to be a nuisance. Cause as is the mother, so is the daughter. But you ain't really worried because that righteous example of your husband you follow. So it's head wraps, fringes on, chilling on the Sabbath. Yeah, you ain't caught up in the madness nah, of diamonds and pearls and costly array. And yeah, you looking good, but professing godliness is all that matters to you. Uh, dress to the foot, you ain't worried about the hater. Walk what you talk, hold it down for the nation. Yeah, support the troops, and it ain't no imitating. That's right. In Israel, you know ain't no nation greater. Let your light so shine, so man might say a good word. Oh, you're an Israelite, let the nation say what you want. Oh, I got my dress on check, my fringe is on deck, my head wrapped on looking modest when I step out. Cause we're the greatest people on this earth, oh So I'ma let my light shine bright, yeah Israel, right on time, 9.05. We're going to get into uh, today's main topic, When They See Us. Right. Now, that that song is uh, Author of Beauty, right? That's uh, featuring uh, Deacon Abiel. Man, I like that uh, song. Officer Azaniah yeah, and Sister. Ooh, we need more uh, of those. Uh, Rena from, uh, I think she's Seattle camp, right? Oh, Seattle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got some it. talent in Israel. to Seattle man. for that. All praises, man. They brought that fire on that. So so stay on the on lookout because I think they got a – you know, in, in, right. in, the, in the future, yeah, we got a, a, a Daughters of Sarah album coming oh, in the future. Oh, man. And, and Lord's Will, you know, we working on, we getting the paperwork done for uh, One Dove. 
We got to uh, oh, finalize yeah, that paperwork, you know, because we major now. That's right. We ain't playing Israel now. United in Christ. We major. Hey, Israel ain't Charlotte said, that man. sister can oh, sing. Hey, Israel you're right. Small you're small right, Charlotte. Ball, she can't sing. sing. She can sing. Sing. Yeah. It's a difference. <laughs> it's a major difference. All right. Hey, hey. So, we so give me that. Um, Give me the video, cause we all know we. I mean, about, let me see. Let's see. Let's take a let's take a poll real quick. Facebook, uh, who who has seen uh, when they see see us that um, the Netflix uh, uh, four part video of the uh, 1989 uh, uh, is labeled the Central the Park Central Five, Park, yeah. the five young black men that was falsely accused for raping a, a Edomite. Who who saw that? What y'all think about that? Let us know. Cause um uh, today I watched the um I watched the 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 first um show of it like the the right. first episode. episode yeah I watched the first episode and um and and I know it um it it probably gets um a little bit worse that's no that's not the first video it ain't the first video stay stay scroll down in the in the group and um you'll see um. You know, watch after watching the first episode. You know, knowing what I know now, you know, it's like yeah, okay, it, it ain't no shock to me. No, that's not the first uh, uh, article, man. Go the first article. We on the um, Central Park Five uh, when they see us, but uh, it's not really a shock. You know, they've been doing this stuff to us. You know, from from the days of soon as they um, we was quote unquote freed, right? Right. right. They've been blaming stuff on us. From the get go, yeah, Emmett Till. Emmett Till, yeah, you know, right. um, is another one called the Charleston Boys. We ain't gonna pull that up, right. but um, they've been falsely <laughs> accusing us for all kind of stuff, man, and and that's that's their spirit, that's their spirit, and, and the Bible says it calls them the accusers, you know, of the brethren. Um, go go to the um, the group. Let me see them. This ain't it. Uh, what am I looking at right here? Uh yeah yeah, come on keep scrolling down man where you at I got all the videos listed. Keep scrolling, yeah that ain't it. There you go right there. There you go. Let's play it. Let's play it. Let's pull it up. We can't hear it. It's on mute. Run it back. <laughs> My name is Asante Black. Um, I look young, but I'm 17. Uh, that's young. <laughs> I look younger than I am, okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> blow it up. I'm Drew Drew, I'm 21. Ethan Harisi, I'm 18. Uh, Khalil Harris, I'm 15. I'm Marquise Rodriguez, I'm 22. Do you all believe that you're perceived as a threat? Yes. Right here, right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. All the time. Being from the Bronx, like, I, I, I want, I, I'm definitely blessed to say that I've never been handcuffed or I've been thrown to the ground by a police officer, but it's that it's, sometimes it's that subtle T that yes. hurts the most. I was walking to school one day and two officers came up to me and said, where are you headed? Can I see what's in your backpack? And it's just something that small that affects you for a very long time. Then I'm asking myself, what do I look like? Like, do I, do I look like a criminal? What frustrates me the most about that is like we're, we are not allowed as children of color to be kids. You should have been able to go to school at 8 a.m. Hey, and take pause the test it, pause and focus it. on that. Pause it. That's a heavy point that he just brought out. Hmm. It's a heavy point. You know, it's a different day and age from when we was growing up. You know, we could go outside and we could play all day. Uh, you know, you know how it was. Grandma right. wouldn't let you come back in. Yep. You went out, you had to stay out. You couldn't yep. go back in, in and out with the um, slamming the screen door. You know, you had to stay outside. You wanted something to drink, you better get it from the water hose on the side right, of the house. Right. You had to do that type stuff. Um, but now in this day and age, the brother made a good point right there. I think it's Marquise Rodriguez is his name. Um, he said black kids and Hispanic kids, because he's Hispanic, right? So called, um, they not allowed to be kids. They not allowed to be kids no more. And and you see that um and, and you know why that is so exposed now and and it was probably going on when we was younger, but it's more exposed now due to social media. Yep, yep. And 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 if you got spiritual eyes, you understand why the Lord gave the wisdom to these Edomites to create these platforms. Mm -hmm. It's so that 
the truth can be spread it at a far greater and faster capacity than without it. The man of sin got to be revealed. Right. The man of sin yeah, got to be, be revealed. revealed. Got to be revealed. And now, you know, you, we see it uh, just a little while ago down here in Miami. Um, they One of the cops beat uh, a little high school boy's mm -hmm. head into, yeah, the, into ground. the ground. Mm -hmm. Relentlessly. Relentlessly. On his, concrete. On concrete. And his whole face was bloody yep. when they set him up on, on his, um, uh, to sit him upright. Whole face was just pouring down with blood from them because they don't see kids right. no matter the age mm -hmm. the size they see monsters yep yep hell it was even a time when um i, I think it was a palm beach sheriff office when or it might have been in broward when it was exposed for uh their target practices were black mugshots. yeah 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 one of those brothers who was the target i went to school with him Oh, damn. Yeah, really? and yeah. Yeah, the target practices uh, were black mug shots. Wow. Yeah, he sued. He sued. I think it's still going on. Dang, he sued the that's police crazy. department. crazy. Yeah. Dang, small world, man. Yeah. But he's right. He's like, we don't get to be kids. And that's and and, and that proves furthermore. We Israel, no doubt. Mm -hmm. That we are suffering the curses, man. Um give me that Deuteronomy 28, 15, 16. Let's show that. Deuteronomy. Go ahead. Chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, now read the next verse. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. And that's, and that's mainly where a lot of Israel dwells is in the cities. Right, right. And the part of that curse is that you you don't get the chance to be a kid and, and grow up and have fun and make mistakes. Mistakes for us as Israel, as kids, can mean your life. Right, right, right. right. for real. It can really, it can seriously mean Somebody your life. Somebody else's mistake. Can mean your life, man. Can mean man. your life, just, just by the color of your skin. Right. The the days of us when we used to play with... um. Cap guns and oh, you can forget about that. Yeah, you can't get do you that stuff. Twelve in the chest. Twelve in the chest. Get you shot yep. like uh, Tamir Rice. Yep. There you go. Mm -hmm. And 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 we used to do those things when we was younger, man. You know, play with cap guns and stuff that that had the orange, the bright orange bright tip orange, on it. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. But shots, but everybody man. knew that was a cap gun with right. the bright orange right. tip. Right. Now <laughs> they ain't even looking for that nah. no more. Right. Nah. They, they looking for it now. Police is looking forward to the shooters. Right. Right. Kill, right. Kill on sight. Right. On sight, Say, man. Hey, listen, I didn't know what it was, and you know what? I hey, thought it was a criminal with a gun. That's to let you know just how much hatred yeah. these people got for us, man. And these same people, they will go to church on Sunday and praise Jesus. Right. Yeah. There you go. Pray, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive. Yeah. Love your enemy. Right. But then on Monday, they go back to work. And they put that badge and that gun on, right, right. and they looking to kill Negroes yep. and Hispanics. Yep. Yep. Exactly right. Go back to that video, man. Let's play that. But you couldn't. I couldn't. And that, like, you literally had hours of your day robbed from you because for nothing. There's a policing of our bodies that is, like, so... Uh, disproportionate. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's no surprise that we're still seeing this assumption of guilt, specifically when we look at uh, black and brown people. How and why would you say it's persisted? When they see us, too often, not always, too often, there is the presumption of guilt and the automatic criminalization of these black and brown bodies. I believe there's fear. There's fear of progress. There's fear of sexual interaction hmm. with their women. There's fear of taking over the White House and taking over the country. Hey, pause that. Progress. Pause that. He's exactly yeah. right. Exactly. He hey Blair Underwood, Man, if you oh, if you uh, back um um now I'm not old enough to, to to know I was watching this stuff, but you know, once you come into the truth, you start doing a whole lot of research, right? right? The Lord opens up your eyes to things. Um, it was a video back in the 90s when he was on the Donahue show. I don't know if y'all remember what Donahue yeah. looked like. Yeah. The dude with the 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 all silver hair mm -hmm. with the big Coke bottle glasses. His name was uh, Ed Donahue. Mm -hmm. It was Ed Donahue show. 
and he was on there. Blair Underwood was on there defending that Jesus was a black man. Yeah, he couldn't have been white coming where he was from. And that for him to be painted white in this society is white supremacy and racism at the highest level. He was on there defending that. So he he got some sense. So when he says that it's a fear, oh, Phil Donahue, okay, Phil Donahue. Um, when he when he says that it's a fear of us taking over, that's that's the God given truth. Right. <laughs> it is. He might not understand on the level that we do uh, biblically, but he's right. He's prophesying in the spirit that don't even know it. Mm. That's why um, that's why ra racism exists. Right. Right. <laughs> I, I've said this many times in Miami. Racism is where um, you 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 keep one. Uh, set of people down so that um, they cannot rise above you right. economically or socially in status or whatever it might be. You keep them down. Now, racism, if we was inferior to the Caucasian man, the Asian man, if we was just outright dummies, there's no need for racism. Everything should truly be equal right exactly <laughs> because you don't that's have fear. to worry about us all right the inferior we negroes stupid. let right. them give yeah. them a chance that's what you would say to yourself right but if you ultimately know that these people are truly superior to you Bring it out. therefore i got to institutionalize racism yeah, right so. i got to bring it about Right. I got to bring right. in because, traps. I got to bring yeah. in mm -hmm. snares. Mm -hmm. Make sure I have these plots, abortion clinics. Yeah. Right. I have to make sure these men are, are, are feminized. Right. Yep. Do all these. Police. There we go. Mm -hmm. Police. And that's, that's what biggest. you see in this when they right. see us. It's just giving us what, what, what this is actually doing is just you're just seeing it up front in a movie mm -hmm. uh, of what is it goes on all the time. Why, why, why are you time. shocked? All the time. Because they put in a movie? This ain't the first time this happened to, right. to Negroes. Oh, what I'm are you shocked man. about? Right. Unless your faith is weak and you didn't mm. really think God meant what he meant when he said he was going to be cursing the city. Yep. It took a movie <laughs> for you to believe it? It took a movie for people to wake That's up. That's why a lot of people are shocked. <laughs> like, oh, it makes you mad. I'm like, God been said we was right. going to be cursing right. the city. Right. <laughs> what you mad for? This ain't nothing but you seeing it what, what God already said. That's just me, but hey. <laughs> okay. Um go go to uh Psalms 44. Go to Psalms 44. And uh I want you to read verse 14. Psalms 44, 14 and hey, 15. Hey, what what why did you get that? One point you go said ahead. was heavy care about the race. Why why are they making sure we don't get above a certain level? Mm -hmm. That's because they know that we are capable. Yeah. If we yeah. wasn't capable, it's, it's like, you know, a dog, a literal dog is not capable of being on a level as a human. Right. Therefore, right. you ain't you, you ain't got no 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 thought into, let me make sure this canine right. is in its place like, like, to stay as a canine. For example, like when you go to sleep, you, you let your dog sleep at the foot of your bed, right. or the side of your bed. Because right. you know this dog right. doesn't have the capability to go in the kitchen, get a right. knife, and right. stab, and stab you, with you with his paw. You ain't worried about that. Are you good. You good. They know we, we are capable of being superior. Mm -hmm. right. That's why they do their best, their hardest to keep us down. Because they know we're capable. You're right. Hey, so read that Psalms 44, 14, 15. Psalms chapter 44, verse 14. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. A shaking of the head. They look like, wow, these people here. Look at them. All of these things going and stacked against them, and, and they still, they. it's not a shock that, that like, racism exists and, mm -hmm. and all no. of the, you know, we got all the odds stacked against us of succeeding to a certain level. We, we all know that, but we still turn hatred and violence on each other. Right. That's what got the other people shaking their head. The damn Asians who know that they are a minority in America, you don't see them going around killing each other. Right. They don't need to. They, they don't need they to because the they know they got to stick together yep. to survive here. People look at us like, wow, sh sh I can't believe that it's black on black violence. Hell, look at them. They, <laughs> they oppressed by everybody and they still right. hate each other. They should be the most loving people of, of each yeah. other. Uh, on the earth, but they not. That's why other people are like, Shh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Read verse 15. My confusion is continually before me, uh -huh. and the shame of my face 
have covered me. That when, when a lot of people watching um when they see us this next Netflix fear, what what she's really saying is the confusion. It's mm. continually before you like, wow, I can't believe this. I just can't believe that they are this wrong. I can't mm. believe that they are this dirty. I can't believe they wouldn't do that. That's because you you feel like that you should be um assimilated into the uh, culture to the point where they shouldn't be treating me like this right, no more. Right, right. I've done so much. Why is it still happening? Right. It's because it's biblical. God said you was going to be cursed in the city. Think about it. You were... <laughs> You an NBA player making millions of dollars. And a white man. Right. And a 170 pound <laughs> right, white right, man. A white right. man can shove you and call you niggas and still look at you as a dog. Right. You only get a year uh, a year ban, a year ban a year when ban. the season's over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get no higher than a millionaire. Right. You a millionaire, you still look at as a dog in right. the society. Hey, go back to that video. We gotta get through these videos. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. That's what they fear, that that we would get above them. And, and there ain't nothing they can do about it because it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. oh, it's going to happen. Go ahead. Let that play. So when do you think they will actually see us, i.e. black and brown? As we continue having projects like this, as we continue to have our voices heard, as we continue to progress in politics, as we continue to raise our families, as we continue to show who we are, that eventually happens. You look at the generation we have now, as opposed to 10 years ago, definitely 40 years ago. There's just, there's way too much work to be done. I don't um, know about our lifetime. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. The next one. Yeah. Think about okay, it, they're 20 years old, 21 years oh, old. 20 like years this. old. 17 not years old. Like, not and not and look at this, he's a movie actor right. with money, and he said, not in our lifetime. Mm. That lets you know you can never rise above your people. Come on. Come on. He's a Wake movie up. actor, said, not in our lifetime. That means even on his level of prestige of where he's at, he still is facing the confusion continually before him. Man, that's heavy. Let that play. With my lady the other day, and we actually were talking, I was like, I don't know what the beginning of white supremacy is. And it's more recent than you'd think. When the conception of white happens, and then the conception of white supremacy is sort of built to justify slavery and the, the, the architecture of race, and it's so laughable, but the archetypes that are built in, the stereotypes that mm. are used to oppress people, right, are still very much in the language today. They sure. were very much in the language and the narrative about the kids in 1989, right? Like, they're, they're animals, they're yeah. thugs, it's a wolf pack. Wild like, and animal, right? Exactly, like they're not in control of their emotions. These are wild children. Mm -hmm. They are somehow, and we are still very much inside of that conversation because we haven't updated, and again, I say wait, we, we have not updated those cultural white narratives. Folks. So I think that's part of yeah, what this folks. is. There is a humanity there that is universal. And if you don't see that, something's really deeply broken inside of you. And I think that's what's so powerful about this. That's what's so powerful about changing the narrative. Like, come inside of this household, see this family, see the damage that's done, see the pain that they're living in because of this injustice that's being done to them, and tell me you don't relate to that. And if you don't, it's not a problem with the show. Something's fucked up in you. Central Park hey, Five, hey, they were dubbed. Hey, right. pause it. Pause it. Let's go to Habakkuk. Because <laughs> I want, uh, this is for us to understand. And your friends, your family, your aunties, your mamas that might be watching this, you know, just invite them into your house. Right, right. God said, off, off rip, never trust thy never. enemy. Right. Nah, you ain't coming in here, Come buddy. On. No, no, no. You ain't going to plant no drugs in here and none of that stuff. You ain't going to wire my house. Nah, none exactly. of that, buddy. Uh, give me that in uh, Habakkuk chapter 1, right? Is that what I want? Two, uh, the, the spirit. Two. two. two yeah, yeah. Two, two and four. Let's Hab go to it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold. His soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. So look at what God, God ain't dealing with the flesh. God is on, on a supernatural, That's right. spiritual level. He ain't dealing with the flesh because we think that we can change Esau's flesh into actually liking us. But it's deeper than that. God says that his spirit, which is proud, is not upright in him. Mm. It's not, it, it's nothing that you're going to do to make them realize what's because even with this case right here, um, who's the dude? Uh, uh, Trump, right? Mm -hmm. Trump and the, uh, the, the lady named Fairstein is the uh, Linda Fairstein was the prosecutors, prosecutors. Yeah. right? 
she even after listen to this even after the original killer named Reyes right they call right. him he confessed he confessed to that murder and four other unsolved murders yep. of raping women that he done and she said they still are guilty Trump who took out a um full page article in the New York mm -hmm. Times about give him the death penalty he still ain't came out and said I was wrong right well back then in the 80s in the late 80s I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions six years ahead of time before they was proven not guilty right God says behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him mm. they not he's not going to apologize no. for the wrong that he done right. he ain't gonna see no wrong in it they throw millions at it cover it up it's cover done. it up man uh is that it on that yeah yeah that's it I that's got a it script. go ahead give me uh revelations real quick 12 and 10. we got about uh 10 more videos <laughs> yeah we got 10. <laughs> we got about 10. i'm telling you I Look, just bear with us this we're going through this thing's heavy man <laughs> this is a heavy what'd you say revelation 10 and 12. 10 and 12. Uh, it ain't no 10 and 12. I'm sorry. 12, 12, 12 and 10. 12 Excuse and 10. Me. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, mm -hmm. now, is, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God. Of our God. Come on. And the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren hey, is, is cast what, down. This is go. what we waiting on right here. Yep. The accusers of our brethren, those who who plaster uh, uh, the photos of our people yeah. all over the the news. Uh, 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 like like the the young brother said at first, you are guilty until, until proven pro innocent. Come on, you know who you know who they did that on uh, recently, sitting in jail right now, eighty something years old. Oh man, Bill. Bill, Bill. Cosby. Yep. He was guilty yep. from Bill the Cosby, jump. Right. right, and you still got that Edomite woman free, the one who um who confessed with Emmett Till. With Emmett Till, you right. still free. Mm -hmm. Still free. Yep. But you got uh, Bill Cosby uh, rotting in prison right hey, now. Hey, read that verse again, mm -hmm. man. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Mm -hmm. You hear that? That's what salvation is all about. Yep. That's justice right there. When those who lied on you, it's the same way. Someone lied on you. They lied on you for years. Mm -hmm. And finally, for you to see that person be paid back for all those lies. That's slandering. Hey, be paid, that's justice. Hey, when when you know what they did to them brothers, man. Yeah. They made them brothers basically try to turn on each other. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, and lie on each other just to get a conviction. Yeah. That's some evil, evil stuff, man. And when man. you watch just the first show, man, you see that none of the kids' stories matched up. Right. They was all over the place. And one of the other prosecutors was like, I can't do nothing with this. It don't even match up what they saying. None of them got the same story until they got Corey Wise in it and beat him up right. before he went in there and put him on camera. Mm -hmm. Man, it's that's it. It's, Hey, them dudes, them dudes deserve an Oscar. Yeah, they do. You, the way they played the emotional parts of that, and I ain't never seen these dudes before right. in a movie or nothing. Right. It's like they first acting scene or first something premiere, major, right. and they and they those be the good actors too. The, the ones actors, that just don't man. really That's know Israel their name. You, man. Yeah. That's Israel. Hey, hey, go back to um the video. Okay, hey, go to the next one. Go to the next one. Uh, um, you know what? Matter of fact, go scroll to the bottom of this and pull up, cause uh, scroll down to the bottom with uh, the the next Vlad video at the bottom with the two that you gave me, right there, and and uh, start at the time frame that we was talking about, um, because what happened is the dude said the white dude said it is written into um, like our, our fabric or something. It's written into our literature or something of how we. Um, we exploit black and brown people and we look at them a certain way and we uh, stereotype them. He was exactly right. It's still written into the fabric of this country. Mm. And and he didn't know what he was talking about. I, he probably knew. Esau probably knew what he's talking about, but he coded it. This is what he was talking about. Play that video right there. This is what he means. It was written into the fabric of this country and has not been changed. Let that video play. People that are in prison or black and brown, you know. And when pause it, pause it real quick. Go back to 23 minutes. Now, just to let you know who this is, Israel, if you don't know, 
Uh, these are two of the brothers from the um, Central Park Five, uh, quote unquote. Um, these are the actual brothers that spent the the six and a half, almost seven years in prison for something they didn't do. Now the one on the right, he is a lawyer. Uh, he he's a lawyer and he defends those that have been wrongly convicted. Uh, the other brother to the left, uh, he just took his money. He's trying to live his life now. But the other brother, the lawyer, look how he he understands this country, hmm. and he's going to uh, uh, um, uh, back up what that white dude said, where he said it's written into our fabric of this country and has not been changed. This is what he meant. Play that. Shot down, but it's black and brown folks that are getting shot down. You know, uh, the overwhelming majority of people that are in prison are black and brown. You know, and when we look at what um, brilliant filmmakers like Ava DuVernay has given us, you know, in, in, in this film called The Thirteenth, you know, where she talks about the Thirteenth Amendment and how, you know, yeah, in this yeah, we amendment, you clearly see that they can turn you back into a slave for the punishment of a crime. Oh. And I always yeah. say that these words, the words that are being used are key words, and I think it's key words to people of color. Pe because peep the this. only people who read that and that word vibrates on a different level or people whose ancestors have been enslaved. Hey, pause it real so they're quick. they're telling you right there in the documents of these, the, the founding documents his space of this bar, country, man. Come on. that they can turn you back into space a Space bar, what are you doing? Come on, man. Uh, pull up, pull up 13th Amendment on Google. He said it's written in the documents, yeah. in the uh, constitutional amendments, right, of this country. And he said that the people that went through what it's talking about in that amendment It'll hit us. It won't hit them. That's why when the white dude was like, um, um, bring them into your house and you'll see that they live the same mm -hmm. life as you mm -hmm. live. No, you won't. You ain't got to worry about the 13th Amendment. Nope. Uh, scroll down, son. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Constitution of the United States of America, 1789, mm -hmm. Amendment 13, Section 1. Mm -hmm. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime yeah, no. whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the united states so any any place subject to the ju their jurisdiction so listen it said you can be a slave right. involuntarily in jail right now <laughs> now 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 we now we understand that is code to all the people that run the criminal justice right, system right. that all you have to do is frame, frame these them. niggas to turn them back into slaves. Loophole. That is that's the loophole. That's code for you can still make them slaves yeah, by yeah. putting them in jail. That's code for them and they pick up on it. They understand that thing. The Thirteenth Amendment: Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, right. except as a punishment for crime. Now you can see why we feel the prison houses, right? right? Get, get that curse. Get that Isaiah forty-two, right. right? That's why they took off the white sheets and they exchanged yeah. it for a badge and a gun. Yep, <laughs> you're exactly right. Because <laughs> that Thirteenth Amendment, they they ain't gotta hide behind them sheets no more. Right. It's on their side. Uh, was it Isaiah forty-two? 22 read that Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 but this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses that's us that is us this you know what this this movie does more than anything for me it it just solidifies no doubt we the Israelites. We the people on the book. Right. That's right. <laughs> for real, though. Them real. brothers, them Central Park Five brothers was hid in prison yep. houses for six, seven years. Free labor. Falsely accused, made slaves, free labor. Yep. And, he's, free and, labor. and go back to the video. The brother's going to he's gonna expound on that 13th Amendment of how cruel it is and how they, they, they do it. They, they push it on us. And it all goes back to us being disobedient to God, but they push it on us more than anybody. Play that. Pause it. You know something? 
Damn. The go. top industry, garment industry, the clothing industry. The clothing industry. industry. So, so he's letting you know that these companies, you can X that one out. Those companies that are making billions of dollars, like you got your, your Tommy Hilfiger's, yep. you got your uh, uh, Chanel's, right. right? You got Ralph your Gucci Lauren. making mm -hmm. uh, racist faces. Yep. You got Ralph Lauren. You got the Polo Purple labels. Yep. You got the Zara fashions mm -hmm. and things like that. They got prisoners making their clothes right. for them for, for 50 cents an, an hour, hour right. and repackaging it for two and three hundred and thousands of dollars. Goodness gracious. So they just switched, like, <laughs> same way as the sheet changed for, they changed the uh, cotton field. Oh, yeah. there they changed you the cotton go. field for what? There for the prison. Come on. Damn. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, um, Type in, while you're on Google, type in prison labor. Just type it in. Man. I looked this up earlier. Type in prison labor. Okay, read that. Penal labor in the United States, including a form of slavery <laughs> or involuntary servitude, is explicit, ex explicitly. explicitly allowed by the 13th Amendment of the U.S. US Constitution. Constitution. Did you, did you, you see the words it said? Allowed. It said explicitly allowed. allowed. Goodness gracious. Wake explicitly up. allowed. allowed. Meaning Damn. that this is slavery. It right. has never right. left. Never it enough. only changed. Yeah, That's it. Slavery it by another name. By another name. That's, That's why when we be on the streets and, and brothers be like, and sisters be like, I'm not a slave no more. Yeah, y'all. You, you ever been in a pair of handcuffs? Hmm. You ever been in the back seat of a, a police car? Right. Right. You right. own your way back to the fields. Right. It's right. just made of That's concrete right. now. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. You have and a prison guard that you send in commissary. Well, basically, yep. you giving them that pitch of water while you were right. in the field. Yeah, Damn. Same That's thing. all it is. Damn. Yep. And mm. It says unconvicted detainees awaiting trial cannot be forced to participate in forced rehabilitative labor Damn. programs in prison. You know how that rehabilitative, uh, rehabilitative labor, uh, it changes you? Like the brother said, I was working for 50 cents 50 an hour. Cents an hour. Make it That's garments. how it rehabilitates you. Damn, I don't want to do this for 50 cents an hour no more. I ain't coming back in here. I mean, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all understand what 50 cents an hour is, man. That's crazy. You don't even have enough to buy a pack of gum at the end of the no. day. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. 50 cents an hour. Hey, all right, go back to the video. Let him finish out that video. Right. You heard what he said. This is by design. Right. Give me Jeremiah. Mm. See, our people, our people be saying the key words. You know what they need to, to connect the dots? They need the prophets. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Real talk. They That's need right. us to hit the streets it, and connect right. the dots. Give me yep. Jeremiah 6. I want Jeremiah 6. Right? Mm, 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 mm. Let's see where we want to go in that Jeremiah 6. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, uh -huh. because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected so it. So he's right. When he says it's designed, it's designed by God. God is doing this to us because we refuse to listen to his law. And 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 the thing is, you know what it says. Um, uh, Job Job called God the King of Terrors. Right. You know what that means? That means he's got infinite ways to punish you right. before right. he killed you. Right. And one way is right here: you are not seen as a child no more in mm -hmm. their eyes. A pack of wolves. You a pack of wolves. You're you're predators. That's what uh uh, uh Hillary Clinton called them back in the day. Right. right. Predators. predators. Monsters. Predators. 
That's what that's what they see now. That's the that's God is is designing the way to keep on punishing you mm-hmm. because you don't want to listen to his law. Okay, I got another way. Oh, I'll keep punishing you. All mm-hmm. right. Oh, oh, you want to keep getting those abortions? Okay. Well, I'm gonna make the white man make it illegal. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop this. I'm gonna make it make it illegal. Yeah, I just seen a video, uh speaking of that, I seen a video. The sister was in an abortion clinic recording it. Oh, and, and she man. said Basically, she was getting back at her baby daddy, oh, oh. called him a nigga on the on the uh, video and said, "I'm killing your baby mm, mm, mm. with the with the uh, with the hospital garment on, on and, and everything." And right before she went in to abort the baby, she made a video and said, "Yeah, nigga, I'm killing your baby." Wow, that's murder. crazy, that's crazy, man. That, that's crazy, man. that is that's murder. We'll go. We'll go into that one day. Go to uh, jump over to Jeremiah chapter seven, and I want you to read um, read verse twenty six and twenty seven. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 26 Yet they hearken not unto me nor incline their ears but harden their neck they did worse than their fathers And that's us mm. We mm. are doing worse worse right, worse right, than right. our fathers than our, than our fathers our mothers our grandparents our great grandparents we are getting worse and worse as a people If you watching the you watching when they see us a lot of these boys was out at a later time at night when they right. weren't supposed to be right. out. Right. They right. was out right. at like 9, 10 o'clock, mm-hmm. 11 o'clock at night. Yep. Yep. They weren't supposed to be out, and their parents is calling around for them. Where they at? You see my boy? Because mm-hmm. they was not doing what they supposed to do. Now, that was a thing of the past. It wasn't no, you know, when the street lights came on, you had to be home. You better, you had to be opening Mom, up the front mama door. Would come, mama will come find <laughs> mama, you. Mama, hey, yeah, hey, hey, I'm telling you this. When the, when the, when the, the street lights is uh, uh, done come on, and you ain't, Walking through the front door, <laughs> mom or daddy is out in the we'll middle of the street you, oh, with man. a belt. And you know how you get the belt, it's too easy. You be hey, popping it, like, right. you know it's about like, to go far? down. Yeah, it's over. It's, it's over. over. That was us. Yep, yep. I, and I know it was I, even I, worse I for Levi. Days. Oh, it was bad. I know, I know I you days. imagine you around your friends, they ain't speak no Creole, you got your mother screaming <laughs> in Creole. Hey, who's that? Who's hey, that? Hey, hey, but you got to play it off. You got to play it off. All right, now. Yeah. Try to beat your mama to her before she get to you. Yeah. You got to juke your mom to get around her to get run to the house. Right, right. Hey, let me get the screen. Let me get Isaiah chapter, Uh, what is this? Chapter 39. In verse 11. I think it's chapter 39, 11. Let me see. Uh, f- I'm sorry, 59, verse 11. 59, Isaiah. Verse 11. Chapter 59, verse 11. We can start up, but I'll just start, get right to the point. Verse 11. We roar like, we roar all like bears. We, when it says we roar like bears, mean we're crying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a people, that's what we're doing. We're crying for justice. Read. Yelling out. Right. And, and mourn, soar like doves. Read on. We look for judgment. We look for justice. We look for our oppressors to be dealt with. Mm-hmm. We can't even go into the in, into the judicial system and expect to win. You can't yeah. expect it. Yeah. God says we look for justice. Read on. But there is none. There for, ain't no judgment. There ain't no justice. Read on. For salvation. But it is far off Here's why. from Keep us. reading. For our transgression. For what? Our transgressions. For our sins. Think mm. about it. What? Think about it. The coincidence that those five brothers in the park at that time right. Right. don't even know each other. They there at that time, at that specific <laughs> moment of time. And then a brother ended up raping and, and beating down a white woman. Yep. Right. What's the coincidence? Yeah. The Lord set all that up. Right. Read on. For our transgressions. Are multiplied before thee, uh-huh. and our sins testify against us. Jump to verse uh, 14. Verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward. Because of our sin, we'll never get justice in, in, in this uh, society. In this nation, we'll never get justice until we return back to the Father and keep his commandments in the faith of his Son. Read on. And justice standeth afar off. Uh-huh. Watch this. For truth. It's falling in the street. Truth is falling in the street. <laughs> ain't nobody trying to hear it when nobody. it comes to us. Right. <laughs> you, you guilty already. We ain't trying right. to hear the truth. That's it. it. It's going to take a miracle from God to yep. get you up out of this yep. one, buddy. Yeah. We ain't so trying to. going to bury you under the jail. We're going to bury you under the jail, all of you. Give me Jeremiah 11, 11. Going back to what he was talking about, that brother said it's designed. 
Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Read that. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, uh -huh. which they shall not be able to escape. Because it's designed by God. Mm -hmm. A evil that you cannot escape. Right, right. You know what kind of you know what kind of torture that is. You know mad you had to make God. I'm gonna put some evil on you in a situation that you can't get out right, of. Right. You just got to suffer through it. Think about it. You know they say DNA don't lie. You don't have no DNA evidence of none of none one of these none young of men. Not one. no DNA evidence. Their stories don't even match. Ain't no way in heck. That they could be the people that did this to the look nope. to, right. to the white woman. No, but God says you can't escape this you judgment right here. You ain't escaping this. You going down. Read on. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them because we continue to sin, and that's uh, and that has been the story of the black and Hispanic and Native Indian man in America yep. since we got here in the 1400s. Right. Right. Hell, before they when soon as Columbus showed up and started pillaging and raping and robbing right. our people was calling out oh yeah, yeah. but god That'll didn't be, hear him he hear. said i'm gonna bring an evil you can't, can't escape, escape. Right. so yeah. don't be shocked when you're watching this uh uh when they see, when us. They see us this is this is a result of our wrongdoing and if you want to get up out of it you better do some right doing there you go that's how you avoid <laughs> it that's the only way you avoid it that's how you avoid once it. you step out of the realms of the laws of god that that guideline he provided for us once you you fair game to say you now. fair game. That's why he turned up the heat. You ever wonder why the police get extra aggressive? Mm -hmm. What when especially when you look at these videos with these officers gunning down our brothers? Why? Because they are out of that bubble of protection from the laws of God. Yeah. And those same brothers getting gunned down. You see the heat is getting turned up. Turned up, man. God mm -hmm. ain't, playing. He ain't playing. Hey, hey, go back, go back to um the videos. Go back to the videos. Um. No, no, go back to, to all of them. I want to see something real quick. I want to see something real quick. Scroll, scroll down. Oh, that's up. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. No, no, in that group, in that group. What are you doing? Come on, it's the group, FCN. Scroll up. There you go. Okay. All right. Go scroll up some more. I want to read this. The, go up, up, up. That one right there. That article. Pull it up. Look at this. We almost done here, y'all. We're going to wrap it up in a minute. Uh, so this is a study, CNN politics, right? A study, black people more likely to be wrongfully convicted, right? Scroll down. <laughs> Scroll down. All right, I'm going to read this. It says, all, all Marvin Anderson wanted to be was a firefighter. Instead, at 18 years old, he was wrongfully convicted of rape. Sodomy, abduction, and robbery. Sounds like the Central Park Five, right? This article is from 2017. That happened to them brothers in 1989. It says when a Virginia judge sentenced him to 210 wow. years in prison. Yeah, they buried him under the chair. My whole body went numb, Anderson told CNN. I knew I was going to prison for something I didn't do. Listen, look at this. It took 15 years, 15 years behind bars and five years on parole before Anderson was exonerated for his crimes, the result of DNA testing. Wow. So you're telling me they ain't had that DNA testing before they put him in yeah. there? Yeah. Come on, man. They just didn't want to look at it until 20 years Goodness later. Christ. Look they at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at what he said the next, the next word. I oh. trust it. In the justice system, oh, and man. it failed me, he said. <laughs> Get the scripture. Yeah. You know where it is. Get the scripture. Lamentations mm. 417. Wow. He said, wow. I trusted in the justice system, and it Sheesh. failed me. That's where our problem falls at with us as, as Israelites, as blacks and Hispanics right. and Native Indians. We trust in that justice system instead of trusting in God. Right. If we just trusted in God and kept his commandments, we wouldn't have to worry about the justice system right. because God's laws keep us uh, held to a higher standard yes. than Esau's justice system. Right. We got to be better than what the white man requires of us. Dang. Read that Lamentations 4, 17. Mm. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Uh-huh. As for us, our eyes as yet 
failed for our vain help. Uh huh. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And you know what that means? The justice system cannot right. save, save you. you. Can't do it. It, ain't gonna it wasn't made for you. It was made for them to protect them uh, from you. Did I say that right? Yeah, right. protect them yeah. from you. Right. That's why they police you the way that they do, because they are protecting good white Americans mm -hmm. from these um, slaves on the loose in right. their eyes. Right. Wolf pack of wolves. Pack of wolves and monsters and predators. So he said, I trusted in the justice system and it failed me. Anderson is just one of hundreds of black men who have been convicted of and exonerated of crimes they didn't commit. A new report from the National Registry of Exonerations, a joint uh, project between the University of California, California, Irvine, University of Michigan Law School and Michigan State University College of Law shows that black people are more likely to be wrongfully convicted than white people and are less likely and are also likely to spend longer in prison before being exonerated for their crimes. While black people represent 13% of the U.S. population, Bring it out. they represent a whopping 47% of the 1,900 exonerations in registry. Damn, I mean, the most of the people that go to jail wrongfully convicted right. are black people are mm. black people and hispanic people too Dang. scroll down some scroll down some I, I don't think it's on this one scroll down more 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 uh okay all right go to the next article Dang. that was right up under that yeah that one right there the new york times i made sure i got some some well-known publications on this false confessions Mistaken witnesses, corrupt investigators. Don't Ooh. that sound like we was we go, when yeah. they see us? Yep, when they see us. Wow, 139 innocent people went to jail. Scroll down. I'm gonna show you something about this. Look at 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 this. <laughs> let's let's right up underneath of it. Right up underneath of it. Ladura Watkins, 61, was cleared of murder last year, more than 41 years after he was wow. convicted. Half his life. How, man? You might He's well, 61, so that means he well went in at 21. In oh. You might as well keep him in. 20. He is in what is it? In institutionalized. institutionalized. Yeah. 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 He can he, never live a, a 60, normal life. Man. He was 41 years in prison. Scroll down. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh... Now this is recent. This is just last year, yeah, yeah. right? So they, so they was probably making when they see us, right? <laughs> While he was, when this right. article came out, yeah. While he was getting released, right? They was probably making the movie. You know, it takes time to make a movie, edit it, go over the scripts and stuff, right? So they probably working on when they see us when this article dropped. At least 139 convicted defendants in the United States were exonerated last year, and most owe it to the work of lawyers and prosecutors, officers, and private organizations dedicated to finding wrongful convictions. Such professional exonerators were responsible for more than half of the exonerations in 2017 and have been driving a force in the overturning of wrongful convictions. Uh, see the full article. It makes you really wonder what would uh, the feelings uh, on exoneration be, and how many would uh, uh, many would we see if there were more of these organizations? So it's not even enough people right. doing it to get all the people right, out that right. was wrongly for conviction. It's thousands of them since 1989. Mm. That sounds familiar, right. don't it? Mm. Mm. That sounds familiar, don't it? When did the year that that them brothers went yeah. to jail? Yeah. 1989. Damn. Since 1989, when DNA was first used in an exoneration, at least 2,100 people have been cleared of their convictions, according to the registry. I'm going to jump down to the next verse. Uh, the registry added new lawyers to the uh, exoneration, uh, understanding with a pair of reports. Okay, uh, scroll down some more. Scroll down. Prof professional exoneration is 80. Scroll down. Scroll down. Yeah, yeah, keep going. It's, it's a part I want to get to. Oh, there we go. Right here. Look at that. Look at that, Captain Severus. Look at that, Captain Gag. Out of the laws. total of the people wow. they have got out of jail. Wow. This is black and Hispanic folks mainly. Man. Out of all the people, it totals up to 1,478 years of people's lives took. Gone. Dang. Stolen. Back to 
Be, a millennial a and a half almost. That's crazy, man. That's, On that's average, I, let that sink in, Israel. Right, that's right. how many people that's that they done locked people. up of us wrongfully. Look, since on the average they did ten years did 10 behind years, bars, yeah. you know how long ten years is. Well, now, I ain't never been in, in jail oh, and custom man. before. All oh, praises to the Most High, my uh, 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 that I ain't never did. All praises to the Most High for that. But for brothers that did a bid or, or what not, football numbers, football numbers. I can yeah. only imagine how long ten years oh, cap, on man. average actually feels every day. Cap, cap. I I I give an example. Try going a week without a phone. Oh man, no yeah. Facebook. You, you no can't even go a few messages, hours. Nothing. Try going a week without a phone. No, no internet. No Wi-Fi. No TV. No. Watch you got to sit in the room and, not, and, not and look that. at the wall. Not even that. You ever been into the restroom? Just imagine you, any public restroom. Imagine you can't get out of that restroom. Yeah. Oh man, you can find right. right. You have restroom. nothing. That's all it is. That's, that's, that's basically how, what it is. That's hey. what it is. That's exactly what, what it is. With a cot. Right there on the other side, you got the toilet right there. You know, uh, one of them handicapped uh, restrooms. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just That's imagine it, you confined to that for years. Good. Oh, God. Ten years, man. Yeah. You go crazy, man. Right. Ten crazy. years. Ten and and knowing years. that you didn't do nothing. That's wrong. the worst right. part of right. it, man. Dang. Yeah. Ten point six years behind bars, adding up to almost fifteen hundred years spent waiting to be cleared. Uh, Ladura, who we was just reading about at the top. Um, in Michigan, waited longer than any other person who was exonerated last year. He was released from prison last summer, more than 41 years later after being convicted. Uh, scroll down. Now, the next, the, go ahead. What are you going to say? No, I, I want you to keep reading. Oh, he was convicted based on a hair. <laughs> Wow. A hair. Hey, what hair? Found at the scene. Now, which, look, watch this. Which bore microscopic similarities to, to his, his own. own. That's crazy, oh, man. man. You can't escape. Just wow. one hair that looks like yours. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Uh, and now look, the next paragraph. Only two others listed in the registry were exonerated after a longer wait for Walter Lomax, who was freed from a Maryland prison in 2014. It took 46 years. Ah, goodness gracious. 46 years to ex secure an exoneration. Paul Gatling who uh's conviction in Brooklyn was overturned in 2016 had to wait 52 years. Well, you understand your kids are old, your right. grandkids are old. Yeah. Hell, some people come out and all their family have oh, died. Yes. Right. Yes. That's man, that yeah. that that right there will make you kill yourself. And they have to come out and be functioning citizens. Right. Yeah. Can't right. skip a beat. How though, man? How do you be <laughs> no, functioning? No, without therapy. Citizens? That's why a lot of them yeah. end up Some of them go right back. Doing drugs and yeah. killing themselves and right. doing all types of stuff. Yeah, man. Dang, man. That's, that's crazy. That's heavy, man. All right. Hey, go go to um go back to them videos. Go back to the videos. Dang, that's, uh, that's some crazy go up, go. stuff. Is that what I want? Sheesh. 424, no, no, scroll down. Yeah, yeah, go to 424 right there, the, the kids again. Yeah, go to 424, that video. Click to 424. I want you to see right there. You, well, go 420, 420 is good. You could, yeah, and, and watch what they say. Watch what they say, man. And I feel like that's what kept even all of these men um, going. I just got the wrap it up sign, but I'm going to ignore it. Um, <laughs> How do you guys feel about the words innocent and guilty? Mm. Innocent and guilty. Uh, How do you feel? I think, they're, I think they're completely subjective. I think they, they change mm -hmm. depending on who we're talking about. So when we're talking about kids mm -hmm. of color, it's like those two words mean wildly different things mm -hmm. than when we're talking about anybody Rare. else. Mm -hmm. um, I think who gets to be innocent and who gets to be guilty is, is, is really frustrating. Yeah. Um, and de depending on, on who you're talking about, it's like, what comes first? What's right. your first thought, innocence mm -hmm. or guilty? You look at him, I thought guilty first. You look at him, I thought innocent first. Right. And it's all about the title. Yeah. 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 Exactly. When they see us, when they see us, they see guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're striving for that day that when they see us, they'll see us as who we are rather than. Yeah. Hey, they gonna see us as gods. That's, that's, right. that's it right now. That's we strive right. for the day when they look at us and say, those are the gods of the earth. Right. That's right. It's what coming. have we done? That's, that's all coming. I want to hear. What have we done? Let it play. They see guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're striving for that day that when they see us, they'll see us as who we are rather than yeah. what they their biases tell them. Innocence and guilty, just it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, 
in, you're innocent to guilty when you're black and brown. It, it's not based on your actions. It's, it's, it's based on the really the color of your skin, and that's what needs to change. And that is think about this. <laughs> think about this, y'all. This 2019. While we still requoting the "I Had a Dream" speech from yeah. Martin Luther King, yeah, right. yeah. Why, why are we right. still quoting this? Right. Why are we still asking to be seen to be judged by the content of our character mm. and not the color of our skin in yeah. 2019? Yeah. Right. Why? That let you know the hand of God <laughs> is against you. It's right. against. It, it, the it's curse crazy. Is all upon you. Let it play. It, it, it needs to be completely just thrown away. Yeah. Hey, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Hey, uh, uh, go to the go to the other video. XL went out. We got one more video here. One more video. Go to the video. Where you at? No, no, no. I don't want that. Uh, uh-uh. go back to him. Go back to him. Uh, it's a, it's it's a it's something that says it's something about black and brown. Scroll down. Nope, wrong way. Down. There we go. Uh, scroll down some more. Right there. Black and brown. Yep. Let's play it. When they see us, when they see us, then the other half of the question is, what do they see? Keep hearing these footsteps, and they come in closer and closer. That's me. Do you think that black and brown people will ever be afforded the assumption of innocence? I don't want to paint the narrative that our kids have to be perfect. Kids, the adolescence, adolescence is a scientific word for dumb shit, right? And so our kids should be able to to, to play in their community and be kids. And, 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 and actually be and, and somewhat and wild. Gonna happen. Yeah. I watched something so disturbing on the news. On, on um, A young man was being arrested, a uh, Hispanic. They, they choked him on the ground till his face turned blue. I, I think he had a warrant on him. There was no guns, there was no murder, there was no shootings, there was no fighting. I jumped to that, that young man who walked into that church and shot those people. Mm. They fed him Burger King, he, 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 and he was he was carried to that car with the with the with the you tenderness of care. Our kids are not perfect. They're gonna make bad choices. They're kids, you know. It, but I don't understand the the need for excessive force. The need to jump out and before you even assess the situation, you you let off seventy rounds. Why do you see menace when you see a dark skinned black male? Why? Those are the things that we have to educate our young children about. You want to be having conversations about getting good grades. Yes, and what time you going to come home after the dance? And, all, and you ain't wearing no shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to be saying. But we have to say, if you are stopped, put your hands on the dashboard. Don't do whatever they tell you to do. Don't talk back. And if you are mishandled, we can deal with it later as long as you make it home. Right, long as it's you not just our men. Look, look at Sandra Bland. Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? Yes, it's ma'am. just the black and the brown. There is something about it mm. that um, it's almost like a seek and destroy. When I see you, Woo. I'm going to lean Here. in hard in a way that may be too excessive as far as I'm concerned. Uh, hey, hey, that's heavy. how you, that's hey. how you know nobody else is going through the oppression that we going through. Yeah. Telling you, hey, can, can I get a script real quick? Telling on Oh over my and goodness! Over. Let me get Baruch. I always go to the scripture. Let me get uh, Baruch chapter two and one. Listen to what the sister said. The sister said, "I want to have conversations about grades with my kids, about what they're supposed to wear, but instead, I got to have conversations about what to do when you are being pulled over by the police." Yeah. Nobody, the Chinese ain't having those conversations. Right, right. Arabs ain't having that. Right, the white men ain't having those conversations with they. What they doing? You get pulled over, you call me, Bill. Yeah. You call me, I'll make it right. Yeah, read that, bro. Baruch chapter two, verse one. Read. Therefore, the Lord hath made have made good His word, which He pronounced against us. Come on, and against our judges that judge. The Israel. Lord made good His word. When you read it, Deuteronomy twenty eight, how He was going to curse us. Yeah. Mm. In all things for eternity for our uh, children's children's children's, he made good his word 
2019, hundreds of thousands of years later, we still cursed. Mm -hmm. Read on. And against our kings, uh -huh. and against our princes, uh -huh. and against the men of Israel and Judah. Read on. To bring upon us great plagues. Great plagues. Watch this. Such as never happened under the whole heaven. That lets you know who the children of Israel are. That's right. Line us up. Line the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans up with any other race of people. Right. And ask yourself, are they going through the same things? You name me one other race that has to teach their children what to do. Yeah. They got to make a curriculum with their kids on what to do when they're being stopped by the just police. Just so you can make it home. Right. Just so you can make it home. And we'll deal with the ass whooping that you just got later. Right. Yeah. Just make it home. Survive. Yep. Oh, right. I got a script real Go quick. Ahead. Jeremiah 50, 50 and 33. This is serious, man. Right, that this When they see us, opens up a lot of right different on. levels of... of of proving more and more of we the Israelites through That's this right. oppression That's we right. facing, man. Right. Because she, she said black and brown. Yeah. You constantly hear that, black and brown, black and brown. Yeah. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. Thus saith the mm. Lord of hosts, Good script. the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed Together. Mm -hmm. It says together. They were the so called blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians. Those are the black and browns she's yeah, talking that's about. That's right. Black and brown, black and called brown? Judah, right. Israel. Judah and Israel. That's the biblical name for them. Yep. Oppressed together. That's what we're saying. The scriptures are coming to life. Yeah. You need to begin to connect the dots. Yep. Especially if this is your first time watching. Because that was black dudes in that, when they, that Central Park Five was black dudes right. and the Hispanic, Hispanic dudes. Brother, yeah. Now, now, it's just, this is making the Bible come alive. Yeah, right, right. Uh, Judah and Israel oppressed right. together. together. They didn't let him go no. like, oh, you're, you Hispanic dude, you fine. You can right, go on. Right. No, no. no. Right. Spiritually, <laughs> we know who you are. You're going right. down with them. Yeah, exactly. Yep. The same Finish treatment that up. was given. Finish that up. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. In seven years. Yeah. We were 40, what, one number? Forty-two years, one brother. Oh yeah, yeah, forty-one years for for the for the older gentleman. Right. One was fifty-two years. Goodness, forty-six gracious, years total. Total in about fifteen hundred years Damn. of 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 black men of Judah and Israel lives Damn. that they done took from them. Damn. You know how many broken and destroyed homes that is along in those fifteen hundred years without a father being in the Here household. Here we go. Where the woman had to be a strong, yep. black, independent yep. woman because the father went home and she had to take care of four kids by herself, Dang, three it, teenage it, boys it and a girl. Down. It trickles it trickled down. down. Hey, hey, we're going to wrap it up on this. Go to uh, 2 Corinthians. Um, yeah, yeah, 2 Corinthians, and we're going to read uh, chapter 5, and let's read verse 10 and 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. All of us going to meet our makers is what Paul's telling us. Read. That every one may receive the things done in his body uh -huh. according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. And our angels are recording everything right. that we do, every step we take, every word that come out of our mouth. And Christ is going to lay it before us on judgment day when we appear before him. And since we know that. Since we know that and, and we see um, all the factual facts that God ain't playing with the Israelites, with, with black and brown people, with Judah and Israel, we see the historical facts. Just recently, it's when they see us, the Netflix series. Yep. Right. Knowing that, read verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. We see the terror of the Lord. We see it. That 15-year-old boys can get hemmed up in a park in New York in 1989 and, and get ushered into prison. Right. right. Ushered into prison with, with nobody stopping it. 1,500 years taken yeah. from black and Hispanic man being uh, more con uh, likely to be convicted, pushed at the NBA game where you make millions of right. dollars. You right. got more money than that dude. He still can right. push yeah. you. Like you're nothing. Like right. you're nothing. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, what do we do? We persuade men to repent. Right. We persuade men and women of the nation of Israel to repent, to endure. Don't let nothing take you out of this truth because outside of this truth 
is the terror of the Lord. Right. That's right. That's it. And he's not playing with us. And it ain't no. And, and from watching when they see us, ain't no age limit on when he'll right, drop right. that That's terror right. on you. Right. Right. We, how do we know that? Uh, the life expectancy of black and Hispanic man is 25 right. years 25. old. Ain't no age on God's terror when he's ready to unleash yeah. it on you. So we persuade man. Read on. But we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right, you see our actions. We change. You can change too. We change because there wasn't none of us perfect. We was bad little kids like they was. We just didn't get caught up in, at the degree that they did. But you can change. If you've been in that situation, you can change. And knowing the terror of the Lord, you better die daily and, and be a new man and a new woman. Right. Be a new man and a new woman. So we're going to wrap it up. That's uh, today's Woo! show. On, on, that's a, that's Fire! A yeah, good man. first show, ain't it? Fire! That's therapy right that's there. Right. That's a that's good some first. Therapy, I'm telling you. On, on, we hey, that. we still we still up in the air. We're going to de deliberate on that, on whether we're going to call it FCN or FCNN, yeah. or we're going to call it the Four Corner News, News Now. now. Yeah, that's right. Like All right, because we're coming with live topics. So, Shalom, Israel. Most high Christ blessed to you. Uh, happy early Sabbath to you. And, Lord's will, we see y'all in two weeks when we that's back right. on Thursday, 8 o'clock. Shalom. 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 Christ Shalom. Christ Shalom. Christ 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 Cause on your palms we ain't great then Feast days was made for murder You better use your frankincense Water on my left, fire on my right Path in the middle, that's the key to Christ If I slip and fall, I can die tonight If I slip and fall, I can die tonight Water on my left, fire on my right Path in the middle, that's the key to Christ If I slip and fall Most I 
God gave the word and the commandments protect me because them demons they lurking, they send their guns in their pocket. SD, I got God's word, so what's your gun to my rocket? They think this movement, they stop it. Satan is teaching and reaching. Say you got the Holy Ghost and the angels told you speaking. Yeah. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.